Hello and welcome to Bicanology. Today we will do an experiment about photosynthesis. A very common experiment. Most of you know that. But how to do it? It will be much better if I explain. So here there are two type of experiment. One where we take some hydrilla plant or any aquatic plant will do. This is hydrilla plant, aquatic plant. So we need hydrilla plant which is very common in pond. If you don't get any other water plant will do. We need a bucket full of water, a beaker with a funnel which fits on it. So 500 ml beaker with a funnel, a test tube and some hydrilla plant. So here first when we take hydrilla plant we will cut that into more or less 3-4 inch thing and then we will put that inside the beaker such a way that the cut part is on the top. After that we will give water in this and put the hydrilla plant inside. But the problem with the test tube is we want to put this way obviously water comes out and there happens to be some gap. So to overcome this we will put everything inside the bucket. We will take the test tube put it upside down inside the bucket. There should not be a single drop of air. There should not be a bubble here and then slowly we will put it inside and take it out. When we take out, there is not a bubble inside. So this is the setup. After setting up, we will put some light. Now this light we found better in the normal 100 watt incandescent light rather than LED. Light is entering and here within few minutes bubbles start coming. Same setup we will. We have done one more and keep it in the dark so that after an hour or two we can compare both the result. After few hours in light, we found lot of bubbles coming in up and there are some oxygen start accumulating. After few days only this become fill up. So this is a little time consuming and difficult experiment. But if you do not have hydrilla plant, it is difficult to do or similar aquatic plant. So there is a simple way to it. As I was saying if you do not have aquatic plants or difficult to get still you can do photosynthetic experiment easily. You need spinach plant or any soft leaf plant. Here what we I got is some hibiscus leaf. You need some injection syringe I have taken thick one even your thin one will do. You need some water, injection syringe whatever range will do. Try to get as clear as possible. Now you need a puncture as well. So if you do not have one puncture, you can use simple punching machine. So what you need to do? 
you need to open up this so that it does not stay there and you need to punch some leaves some leaf disc I can do in one punch it it's easier try not to get from the vein so here these are all there I'm showing you what I got these are leaf disc so simply you can take about six seven ten of them we will put it in water These leaves are all floating. Now what we need to do, we need to press this. And when we do pressure, slowly gas is removed. And so this sinks. If it comes back again, you can again do the same thing, pressure. And it will remain sinked. You have to wait until all remains sunk. Now after this, the whole setup is kept in light. Slowly you will realize that this started floating again. Why it floats? Why it floats? Initially it was floating because there was some air in it. Now when you give pressure, all the air bubbles comes out and it remains filled with water it cannot float anymore so when you give light slowly these leaving disc of leaf start making photosynthesis and so accumulation of gas happens oxygen and that oxygen make them float so when they start floating means they start doing photosynthesis it's a very simple experiment so we have done two set one we will keep in dark one we will keep in light so this is the setup and we will keep the time maybe one hour half an hour whatever Now you have seen that leaf disc are started coming up and when all leaf discs come up we know that experiment has been done. So leaf disc itself has chloroplast and these can do photosynthesis and accumulate oxygen and that oxygen makes it floating. So it's a very simple device you don't need aquatic plant any soft leaf will do and a punching machine which is easy to get. Here I have removed the punching machine's base so that whatever I punch it falls down. It's easier to get. So whatever it is. So this way you can easily do experiment and show that oxygen is generated. Now it is oxygen or not is something different. But we know that some gas must have been accumulated and making it float in water. So here we are. This way you can easily show a photosynthetic experiment in, in your home. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will be able to do this experiment. Please share, subscribe and give comments if you are doing better than what I can do. And if you please write comment, I will be encouraged to do more. Thank you.